Uh, good morning. How's everyone? Uh, come on. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to this Tuesday edition of the Wednesday Bible study. Oh, y'all didn't hear me, did you? Oh, come on in. We thank you so much. Again, this is for those who you may need to call and remind, let them know, amen, that we are on now. And we're so thankful to have you on this, uh, again, this special Tuesday edition of the Wednesday Bible Study. Oh, yes, we are so excited uh, to have you with us on this day. Good morning, Trustee Hui. Good morning, Miss Mary Ellis. Trustee Bonner, Brother Hui, Tim Hui, God bless you. Miss Mary McGill, good morning. Good morning to Miss Lula, Watts Gregory, Tamika Wittenberg, good morning. Miss Mary and the Reverend Dewey Wittenberg, good morning. Brian Chapel and Miss Posey, good morning to you. Good morning to Miss Dot Petty and Dot on the spot. Miss McCann, I know you can, Miss McCann. God bless you. We are excited. Again, let your friends and, and family and uh, fellow Bible scholars know that we're on today, on Tuesday, because on tomorrow, amen, is a historic day, amen, and this time tomorrow, networks all over the world, amen, will be broadcasting live, amen, history, amen, of, amen, uh, President-elect Biden will be sworn in, amen, and also uh, President, Vice President-elect, amen, Harris, Amen. And I'm telling you, God is still on the throne. Good morning, Miss Janet. Good morning, Miss Vanessa. Miss Willis. Good morning. Uh, Double E. God bless you. And Miss Leo and Miss Robin A. God bless you. Again, we're so thankful. Uh, again, we thank you. Bow your heads with us. Father, we thank you for allowing us to assemble this morning. We thank you, God, uh, one day earlier than normal. But we still thank you. Uh, for allowing us, oh God, to uh, spend time with you. And God, I pray that as we study, uh, that you will allow us to grow in grace and knowledge, uh, that we will study to show ourselves approved unto you, uh, that you will be happy, and God, with the way we are seeking you, uh, through your word, and God, through amen, this study. I pray that you will touch every eye to see, that you will touch every ear to hear, that you would touch every mind to understand, oh God, that we would have the mind of Christ. You said in your word, let this mind be in you, and that was in Christ Jesus. Help us. God, be transformed today by the renewing of our minds. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, and all the people said amen. Huh? Did you say amen? Oh, I'm so excited. Good morning, uh, Brother Kenny Farns. God bless you. And again, we thank you. Uh, we are studying, again, on this special Tuesday edition of the Wednesday Bible study. We're studying on prayer. Uh, we're looking at the positions of prayer. Amen. And we're so thankful uh, that the Bible, that there's many positions of prayer. Uh, just a quick recap. There are over 650 prayers in the Bible. Amen. And 450 of them, amen, has answers from God. Amen. Amen. Now, again, if you if you pray in the God, that's who you want to answer your prayer, God. Amen. Good morning, my friend, Brother Todd McDowell. Love you, man. I'm so excited about the Lord. And also, last week, we looked at kneeling and praying. Amen. Kneeling in prayer. We saw where Solomon kneeled and prayed. Amen. We saw, amen, in the Bible where Jesus kneeled and prayed. We saw where Daniel kneeled and prayed. And as we reminisce, amen, we talked about, amen, even uh, the deacons in the old church, amen, lots of times. And when they would come to the altar, they would come and kneel and pray. God bless you, Ms. Sheila Byers, Ms. Minister Tate. Good morning. Amen. They would kneel and pray. And again, I thank you all for joining us. And again, for those who uh, we thank you. If you don't, if you come in, I can I can see what you're saying, Amen. And also, I, I can give you a shout out if I can catch it. Sometimes they scroll through too fast. I can't go back, but sometimes, Amen. Um, there may be a slight delay, but I do try. To, I want to acknowledge all of you because you all are important to me, Amen. 
Now, if you will turn today, the first, uh, uh, what we're going to look at today is standing in praying. The position of prayer today is standing. Uh, those out there, if you can, in the comments, if you can comment, put standing, amen, in prayer. Amen. Amen. Standing in prayer. Amen. When you stand in prayer, amen, it is, amen, a symbol of respect. Amen. You, you know, when the when, when the judge come in the court, they all rise. Huh? Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a position of respect. Amen. Amen. And then also, amen, uh, when you stand in prayer, amen, it, it, it's a position of honor. It's a position of honor when you stand. Amen. Amen. When you stand, it's a position of honor. Good morning, uh, Miss uh, Yolanda Edwards, classmate. Miss Mills, bless you. Amen. Uh, Miss Pam Tate Peeler, good morning. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're so excited about what the Lord is doing. Amen. Miss Jackie Bridges, amen. Our executive director, good morning. Amen. Producer, thank you so much, Miss Edwards. And all of you, Miss uh, Miss Antoinette Sherrell, God bless you. Yeah. So when he stands, is is and and when a soldier stands, he stands and salutes. Amen. It's a standing, amen. And and in church, when the pastor or the uh, leader or the presider say, "Will you all please stand?" At the beginning of the service, amen. It's it, it's a, st a a stand of unity. In respect that we all love you, God. Now, I do know that sometimes people are not able to stand. Amen. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about those who are able to stand and, and straight out blatantly, amen, disrespect, amen, the, the command of the church standing together. Lord have mercy. Amen. I'm, I'm not talking about, amen, the one that's holding a baby or the one, amen, that, that, that's, again, that have knee problems or back problems. But when you really disrespect to say, let's stand and pray, and you can stand and pray, hey, that, that's not a good thing. Amen. It's a, it's a good thing to stand together. Amen. Can y'all somebody put that out there? It's a good thing to stand together. Amen. And as we look, amen, at, at, at this, and also, it, 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 it's a symbol of strength. Standing in prayer is a symbol of strength. Amen. I don't know how many people, amen, I've visited over the years. That's before I became a pastor, amen, and while I'm pastoring, that I went to visit them and they were sick on their bed of affliction. But but when I say I want to pray for you and, 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 and they want to stand up to show God, I still got strength in my body. I'm going to stand while I can. Good Lord of my have you ever seen anybody that, that could not do anything, but, but when it comes time for God, they'll make an effort to stand? Hmm? Oh, yes, there's something about standing, that position of standing in prayer. And that's what we're going to look at today, standing in prayer. Amen. Genesis chapter 24, if you would turn there, I'm so excited today. This is a lovely story about Isaac. Amen. Isaac. Amen. This is a story about Isaac. Amen. And he, amen, was was there and Abraham was old. If you will look at Genesis, amen, chapter 24, verse 1, it says, and Abraham was old. Yeah, Abraham was old. And, and if you keep living, uh, we're going to get old too. Huh? Yeah, we're going to look, we're going to get old. But amen. But just because you old don't mean you have to act old. Lord Almighty. Just because you old don't mean you have to look old. Just because you old, that don't mean you have to smell old. Huh? <laughs> huh? Do your best to look your best, to, to, to present your the best you you can for God. Present the best you you can for your family. Present the best you you can for your employer. Present the best you you can for your mate. Present the best you you can. And that's what standing is all about, amen. And then it says that uh, he was he, he had been blessed, but what he was doing was he knew he was getting ready to leave here. He was getting ready to die, and he had promised, he had talked to his servant, his oldest servant there, and he told him down there in verse 3, I want you to go find a wife 
for Isaac. That's what I want you to do. Go, 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 go find a wife for him because I'm getting ready to leave. He's getting ready to inherit everything that I ever worked for. And I want to give it to my son Isaac because Ishmael has gone over back into Arabia. He he's doing his own thing over there. Amen. Ishmael is over there, but my son Isaac is here. And I want you to find him a wife because it's not good for man to be alone. That's what he said. And he said, I, 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 I'm going to go. He said, now don't come back, amen, until you find him one. Don't come back, amen. And and, and then he said, the God of heaven, amen, uh, uh, when you find him one, you find him one that has faith like, like us. Yeah, you got to have the same type of faith, amen, if, if you want that pain to grow. You got to have the same, you got to pray to the same God. He said, make sure you don't pick one of them pretty girls from them, one of those uh, countries over there, uh, one of those people over there that don't serve God. He said, I want you to go find them one, and, and I want you to bring her back. And, and that's where we pick up. Amen. We pick up. We're going to pick up in this story here. Amen. Uh, we're going to pick up in this story. Amen. I, I want to share something with you. What he said in the story, look, look, look briefly with me in verse 10. I, I want to come back to it later, but uh, since we're right here at it, let's go on and do it now. Amen. Can somebody put out there, let's read it now. Let's read it now. I'm excited about this lesson today. Good morning, my friend, Nikita Hardy. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Miss Karen Proctor, Kendrick Kirby. God bless you. Amen. Now, notice what it said, verse 10. Come on, let's read it together. And the servant took 10 camels, good Lord Almighty, of the camels of his master and departed. He took 10 camels. 10 camels. A camel was a truck. <laughs> it was a truck on feet. <laughs> Not a truck on wheels. Like <laughs> no, they didn't have Ford, Chevrolet, GMC. Amen. They didn't have a Porsche truck. They didn't have a BMW truck. They didn't have, amen, all of those. They didn't have a Toyota, Nissan, but they had the old camel truck. <laughs> he had 10 of them to show how blessed he was. And then it said, for all the goods of his master were in his hand. He could have took anything, loaded anything on there to take with him on his trip to go find a wife for Isaac. And it said, and he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahor. That's where he went. That's where he went. The camel truck, the, tr the camel drive. That's what he did. Good morning, cousin Charlie Brown. God bless you, Miss Ernestine. Now, let's start here at verse 11 because we're looking at prayer. We're looking at a standing in prayer. God bless you. Let's read verse 11. Come on, ready? Let's read. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by the well of water at the time of the evening when e even the time that women go out to draw water. Look at that. Somebody put the right place at the right time. Come on. Come on. I'm waiting for somebody to put that out there in the comments. He went to the right place at the right time. He had 10 camels with him. There's no telling how many workers or servants he had with him, but, but you need water to survive. Hmm? Now notice what he did. A camel has to kneel down and drink. Hmm? We talked last week about kneeling in prayer. Good morning, uh, uh, Brother Larry, uh, Pastor Larry Allen. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Amen. Miss Dawkins, God bless you. Now it said here in verse a man, uh, 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 10, I uh, mean 11, he said he made his camels to kneel down. The camel had to kneel down. You know, camel made kind of awkward. Huh? He not, he not the, he not the uh, most eloquent animal in, 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 in the zoo. Not, not the camel. I mean, he looked kind of strange. The camel. But how many know sometimes Amen. Uh, 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 that you can't go by the looks. The Bible said that he had 10 camels loaded with goods and supplies. Amen. Thank you, Miss Pam Tate Peeler. That's the first one I see over here. 
a man that says the right place at the right time. Good morning, Miss Byers and Mr. Walter down in Jacksonville. The women go out to draw water. So this at the, that's one of the jobs for the women. And, and at this time, uh, the, the wives, the, 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 the married women would be at home or uh, doing things around the house or doing other chores. But, but the young girls, the young women, amen, who were of the marrying age, yeah, who were uh, looking for a man because all day now, all women not looking for a man. All men not looking for a woman. It, 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 it's crazy. We got to pray. But if the family, if the bloodline going to continue, man has to look for woman. Woman has to look for man. Because when that stops, the bloodline stops. How many families have died out because of this? Your ancestors live so you can live, so that you can pass on. Don't let the family bloodline die because you choose to do opposite of what God intended. Lord have mercy. Verse, amen, 12. We on 12 here. We on 12. Come on, let's read verse 12. Ready, let's read. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, he said, I pray thee. Hold right there, mash the brake, pull up the handbrakes, put a brick under the tire. We're going to park right here for one, for a few moments. Good morning, Brother Mitz. Hey, Amen. Notice what he said. He said he had to pray. He prayed because he knew what his assignment was. His assignment was to go get a wife for Isaac. But, but the Bible tells us in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Thank you, Miss Mamie Patty. I see you out there, the right place at the right time. And he said there, he started to pray to God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even his servant there, amen, began to pray, amen. And he said, amen, in that prayer, in verse 12, he said, I pray thee, send me good speed today. In other words, he was saying, Lord, I need some good fortune today. I need you uh, to move today. Amen. Amen. As he was right there, that's what he said. He said, I need some good fortune. Amen. Today. And then verse, uh, that next part, he said, and, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. He said, show kindness because I'm on this journey for him. What I'm doing is for him. He said, I told Abraham, I will bless those that bless you. Amen. This man was working for Abraham, for Isaac, for the future. Amen. Of the family. And, and, and he said that, Lord, I, I need you. Lord, if you don't help me, nobody will. Amen. If you don't bless me, nobody will. I'm out here in foreign territory with this, this convoy of camels. But I know if I pray, oh, Lord, you will make it all right. And that's what people say when they say good speed to you. In, in the book of the New Testament, they say, may God speed to be with you, a good speed. That means may God be with you everywhere you go, your blessings of God. Can somebody put out there in the comments the blessings of God? Amen. God bless you. We're rolling on here because this is a good story here. Now we have verse 13. Amen. Genesis. 24 verse 13. Come on, let's read this thing together. It said, Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. Amen. Amen. Number, that's our key word today is number 13. The servant was standing at the right place at the right time praying. He was, he, that, that the camels were kneeling down, resting. They were kneeling down. Camels got to get down on their knees. I don't know how they do it, but they, they can do it. They get that because I don't know how far they done walked. I don't know how many miles, but a camel can go a long way. He just keep on. The, the, the desert, a man is made for him. He is made for the desert. The land was first and animals came second. A man, he, he can handle the terrain. Huh? That's what happened. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Davis. Amen. Good morning. 
Oh, I'm enjoying this study already. Now, notice what he said. He said, I stand here. I'm standing here praying by the well of water. I shall not. I shall not be moved. I shall not. I shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the water. Come on. I shall not be moved, huh? Amen. Maybe he said, maybe when he was standing there, maybe, just maybe, when he was standing there, when he was praying, he was saying, is me, is me. Y'all sing with me. Yes, is me, oh, Lord. I am standing in the need. Come on. Oh, prayer. See, sometimes you're not on your knees. You're not laying down. You're standing. Oh, it's me. Say it with me. It's me on the Tuesday special choir. Oh, it's me. Oh, Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Good Lord Almighty. Maybe he sung that. I don't know. I don't know. I just said, just maybe. Good morning, Miss Michaels, Mr. Warren, Miss Mary Jeffries. Good morning. Maybe he sung that Linda White, Miss Oglesby. Hmm. Maybe he sung that. But he was standing there praying to God there in verse 13 by the well of the water. He was looking for him in verse 14. Come on, we got to read this. We got another, some more stuff to read. Come on, let's read. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink. And I will give thy camels drink also. Hmm. And let some and, and let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. Amen. Amen. If you can, put in there a precise prayer. Amen. While he was standing, he prayed a precise prayer. Amen. Come on, come on. I need somebody to put that in there. I know it's going to take me a few seconds to get it before, after you type it because I got a little delay over here, but but I need you to put that in there. Good morning, Miss Shirley, Little John, Miss Christy Wood, Fowler, Lamunda. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Miss Peggy Mills. Now notice what he said. He said he had a specific prayer. He said, Lord, when the when when the young lady come over here, when I ask her this and 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 let her say this, and, and when she say that. I know that she is the one because it looked like a group of them, but but I don't know which one, but 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 the one, Lord, I need for Isaac, let it be. That's why when you pray a prayer, sometimes you got to be specific. So you'll know. Precise prayer. You 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 got to be a, a precision. You got to let the Lord know what you're looking for. Amen. Now I said, don't tell everybody. Because the devil will send you a decoy. Yeah, I said, it. the devil will send you a decoy if you tell everybody. Yeah, I'm proud. I'm looking for a car. I'm looking for a black car. You don't tell everybody what you're looking for. Because somebody might try to sell you a lemon. That's a black car. Hmm? You let the Lord know. Lord, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. You let the Lord know. And if you got a prayer partner that you trust. You tell that person, but but you can't tell everybody what your precise prayer is because the devil would try to imitate and duplicate what you want God to do. Mm -hmm. Are you with me here? Yeah? I wish I could do like the rock, but I can't do my eyebrow like the rock. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Butter Miller. God bless you. I love you. All right. Now, know what he said here. He said, now, when that happened, I know it's, I know she the one. Let's go down to verse 15. We're moving here with the Tuesday Bible study. Amen. The special Bible study on Tuesday. Verse 15, ready to read. And it came to pass before 
he had done speaking. Uh, put the brakes on again. Oh, pull up the handbrake. Put two bricks on the tire, one on the front tire, one on the back tire. Know what it said? It came to pass before he had ended his prayer. Sometimes you got to be ready. Sometimes God done moved and you still looking for some old stuff and God done sent the new stuff to you and you missing out on your blessing. Hmm. Yeah. When you pray, look for an answer. When you pray, look for God to move. If, if, if you pray and want him to move, you, you look for him to move. Good morning, Miss Wonder Camp. You, you, you got to expect. Amen. I heard a story about this man that had rained for about uh, quite some time. And then they was going to have a prayer meeting. And that guy, amen, uh, was going to the prayer meeting. And when he started out toward the prayer meeting, he grabbed his raincoat and, and his rain boots and his umbrella. And folks started laughing at him. They said, what you grabbing that for? It didn't rain in, in, in such and such a time. He said, y'all called me to come down there and pray for rain. He said, when I talk to God, God moves <laughs> if it's according to his will. And, and y'all want me to come down there and pray for rain. And you laughing at me for grabbing my raincoat and my boots and my umbrella. He said, I, when I go down there to pray, I'm going to, for something to happen. Huh? Huh? And when he finished praying, by the time he got to a man that said that uh, they could feel something hidden them. Huh? <laughs> oh, Lord, they could see the clouds forming. <laughs> the old man put on his jacket, <laughs> put on his raincoat and his, oh, had already had his boots on and he popped his umbrella and walked back home and dry. See, when you pray, you got to believe in your prayer. If you don't believe your prayer, why you think somebody else going to believe your prayer? Good God Almighty. Huh? He said, ask in believing you shall have these things. I'm just trying to help you understand. Prayer is not just going through a formality or uh, just to get somebody attention or just to hear them say you prayed a prayer. But but is your prayer working? I always hear uh, uh, Reverend Early, one of our social ministers, she say sometimes, hey amen, not a prayer that sound good, but, but a prayer that's doing some good. Hmm? But apparently... This old servant of Abraham learned from Abraham through the years. He learned something. And, and by the time he finished speaking, y'all see that down there in verse 15. It said that, behold, Rebecca came out. Good Lord Almighty. Now she got a name, not just a girl, not just a, a woman for him to marry, but it said her name is Rebecca. <laughs> huh? You see, God would move. In a magnificent, glorious, wonderful, powerful, and exciting way. <laughs> yes, he will. Yes, he will. It said, and her name was Rebecca. She came out there, and 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 then and she was the one. Amen. She was the one. Come on, we got to go. Verse 16. Good morning, Anthony Wilson. I see you out there. God bless you. Amen. Let's read verse. I think we on. Let's finish with 15. It said, let's start with 15 and read it all the way through. It said, and it came to pass before he had done speaking, before he had got to in the name of Jesus, amen, that behold, Rebecca came out who was born to Bethuel, the son of of Milcah, the wife of Nahar, a man who was there. The city was named after him. That's where they were because they were blessed. You know you're blessed when you have a city named after you. Abraham's brother, a man, a man. And so he understood a little bit about Abraham. He knew a man uh, who he was. And it said with her picture on her shoulder. Amen. She was going to the water hole to get some water. 
She had the picture on her shoulder. Y'all know how uh, women are, amen, in, the, uh, in Africa, in Arabia, in some places around the world. And every time you see them on TV, most of the time, amen, they'll have these water jugs on their shoulder or they'll have something on their head because it's easier to carry there. Now, this girl, this Rebecca who came, she did not come to look at other people get water. She came to work. <laughs> huh? Amen. Number one, when you're looking for a mate, you need somebody who loves God. Amen. Number two, you need somebody who's going to help you work. <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't need nobody to watch me work. Now, if things happen down the road, amen, because it did say for better or for worse. For richer or for poor, a sickness in and help. But but from the jump, amen, come on now. It said, find you a helpmate. Huh? I'm just trying to help somebody because you're looking for the wrong thing. Hmm? Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love too many places. Y'all don't remember that, do you? Huh? Y'all gonna have to Google that and hear the whole thing. Hmm? Miss Kathy, good morning. Yes. Uh-huh. Good morning, Frankie. God bless you. Now notice what it said here. It said, Amen. She carried it on her shoulder, so she was going to get water. It was a Probably empty then because they were going to get the water. And when they got, he knew what time of the day the young ladies would be there. Verse 16, we got to get out of here. Ready, read. And the damsel was very fair to look, on, look upon. A virgin. Neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. Yeah, she did what she went to do. She went to the well to get the water. Good Lord Almighty. She filled it up. She just didn't half fill it. See, a lot of times we don't get our blessings because we have do things. Hmm? Yeah, he said when they ran out of wine, he said, Fill the water pots with water. I'm trying to help somebody see the combination here. See, you got to fill your vessel with the heavenly water. Your vessel, your vessel. This young lady, she did that. Now, notice what it said in verse 17. What happened there in 17? Because by the time the servant got through his prayer, she had popped up with this empty picture on the shoulder, and he watched her. She she went down and filled it up. Lord have mercy. Y'all don't know people who have do stuff, do you? Hmm? Why would you want to spend your life with somebody who's who's a half-hearted and half-worker? Half-effort. Hey Amen. You got to get somebody who don't mind getting it done. Hmm? He saw what he was looking for. He, he prayed for it. And verse... Verse, uh, I think we are on verse 17. Come on. Come on, Miss Wittenberg. Come on, everybody. And the servant ran to meet her. Huh? He was over here praying, over here standing near the camels. But when he saw her get her water, and he answered that, God, that prayer, and, and when she, he, after he prayed, this girl, girl suddenly appeared. He ran over there. Good Lord Almighty. And said, let me, I pray thee, Drink a little water of thy pitcher. That's what he said. He said, young lady, amen, uh, you, you done got that vessel full of water there. Oh, I pray thee. In other words, he was talking to her. And that's what prayer is, what we said from the first lesson. Prayer is talking to God. And sometimes you got to talk to people, amen. They're not God, but but how you talk to them sometimes will make a difference on what happens or what don't happen. <laughs> you better talk to God right. Huh? You better talk to mom and daddy right. You better talk to aunt and uncle right. You better talk to your teacher right. 
You better talk to that bus driver, right? You better talk to people with me. You better talk to the policeman, right? Mm-hmm. Lord, you better talk to the man out there. It's, it's a lot of construction going on. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes we'll do what a complete stranger say, and people who love us, we won't do nothing. What do you mean? I mean, mom and daddy, loved one been telling you all the time what to do and get your life together. Amen. But it hasn't been done yet. Good morning, Miss Audrey Tate. Good morning, Malik. Organ man, cross bedding, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to learn. And then a, a complete stranger put up a sign and say, stop, and you'll stop. <laughs> complete stranger, he'll turn around and say, slow, and you'll go slow. Huh? I just want to show you an example of that. Amen. Uh, please take advantage of the good people God has placed in your path to help make your life better. Huh? That's all Rev trying to say. And then it said, notice what he said. He ran to meet her. See, a lot of people wait too long. You, you, you That person attractive to you. And, and you think they're going to talk to you, and, and they over there think you're going to talk to them, and, and then all of a sudden you don't talk, and then four years come by, and you're still thinking about it. I wonder if I would have said something. That might have been the one. You've been talking all that junk, and then when God plays something in your path, you got locked, y'all. you like Luther. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Where are you from? Can I take you out tonight? Do the movie, do the park. I help you home before it's dark. Huh? Sometimes that conversation may lead you somewhere. So he ran over there. He didn't walk. Lord, I missed it. He ran over there. Ah, uh, he ran over there. I don't know if he had Nike's own. I don't know what he had on his feet, but he ran over there. Maybe he didn't have nothing on. Maybe he was barefooted, but he ran over there. He ran over there. Where he asked her nicely, hospitality. He said, ma'am, can I get a little water? Because back then, you know, that's what happened. The women would help the men of the family, and they would help the stranger. They would show hospitality that way. That's a, the way it was. But, but, but now sometimes people uh, don't show hospitality no more. Good morning, Miss Susie Gray Williams. They don't show it no more. Miss Nikita, you I see you, you say you hollering, I can't hear you. But I can see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now no, let's see what the little girl said here. Verse 18. Come on, read it with me. It said, and she said, drink. In other words, she said, You want some drink it? Drink you some water, man. He said, my Lord, amen. In other words, yes, yes, sir. Drink, sir. If you would like some, drink, sir. Amen. And she, she, she didn't, she didn't wait. She, she went on and, and she let down a pitcher upon her hand and, and gave him some to drink. And I can see him now saying she's a nice woman, too. <laughs> huh? Oh, the Bible talks about an unruly woman. He said it's better to be in the house, stop in the corner. Than to be downstairs trying to talk to her. Hmm? Some guys that way. It's better to be upstairs while he down there huffing and puffing and stuff. But if you can't talk to me, why you want to be with me? Huh? Maybe that's a question you need to ask somebody. Hey Amen. If, if, if you can speak nice to everybody else, but when I come in, you got to call me out of my name. And you want to be with me? Amen. God bless you. Thank you all for joining us. Amen. Pastor Gray's daughter. Yeah, bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. Now notice what. Uh, let's, ha- let's, let's read what happened here in verse 19. Read and read verse 19. It said, and when she had done giving him drink, when she had done giving him some drink, amen. Now, now that's what it said. She said, I will draw water for your camels too until they have done drinking. I'll, I'll guess you didn't ask me, but but I see them your camels. I saw you leave them camels and run over here to me. 
and 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 they don't I don't see no camel tracks around the warden hole, but if you want me to, sir, I will give your camels some water. Good Lord Almighty. That sounds like a good woman to me. That sounds like a good man to me. Some people have good mates and don't understand it. Huh? You don't understand their goodness. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to do like Alicia Keys said. You know what she said. A real man knows a real one. Always come first. Go, no. Huh? You got to understand the woman's worth. The woman has to stand the man's worth. And if you get a, 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 a perfect combination. Y'all done heard that before. Love plus you and me. A perfect combination. Come on, that's Johnny. That's Johnny. Johnny and Stacy. Come on. Come on. Somebody gonna Google that in a minute. Listen to it all day. Huh? What's up, Mr. Mita? Miss Shannon Glenn, God bless you. Boy, we having a good time in here today. Miss Marie Douglas, thank you. Now she was gonna get water. She said, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. What type of lady I am. I'm going to even. I don't even know you. But look like your camels need some water. I'm, I'm going to give your camel some water. And all I come to tell somebody is. A camel can drink. You know big truck got a big gas tank. Amen. A little car. Amen. Has a little gas tank. I told y'all the camel was, was, was a truck. A camel and one camel, if he real thirsty, if he real thirsty, could drink 32 gallons of water. 32. One. One camel can drink 32 gallons of water. If he real thirsty. In about 15 minutes. But remember, we started off at the beginning in Genesis 24 verse 10. Said he had 10 camels. And my question is to you, this is my question. Will you run from work? <laughs> Only you know the answer. Will you run from work? Amen. Maybe, maybe she said, uh, I'll give one camel. Amen. You know, you know, if it, it was some, some like some people, she said, I'm going to give you a camel, but I'm just going give, to give one of them some water. You got to give the rest of them. She said, your camels. Yeah, yeah. Notice what it said in 19. She said, for your camels, not for your camel. Huh? Yeah, for the guys out there, do you run? A lot of guys run from responsibility. <laughs> yeah, you don't run from responsibility. You run toward responsibility. Oh, somebody looking for the wrong thing. You, you looking for the, you, you better find you a godly man. You better find you a godly woman. You got to go beyond looks. But but then the Bible did say, amen, that she did look good. Amen. As long as she look good to you, don't worry about what nobody else thinks. As long as he look good to you, don't worry about what nobody else thinks. And maybe they don't even look good to you, but they're good to you and good for you. I'm just trying to help somebody understand how this thing works. Amen. You have to understand that, that it takes two. Don't call them by. To make a thing go right. Hmm? Notice what he said. Now verse 20. We're on verse 20, I do believe. Amen. She said, I, I, I'm going I'm to give them some water until they finish drinking. I can't even know when he finishes. That's when he'll stop. He won't stop till he finish. Yeah. And she knew this. And she said this. I, 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 I'll give them all water till they stop. Now, know what it's saying in verse 20. Man, goodness, this is a good story. Amen. Verse 20. Come on. Come on. Everybody read. I want everybody to read together. I want everybody on this special Tuesday Bible study. Amen. I want everybody to read out loud. Verse 20. Ready to read. And she hasted. Goodness. And emptied her pitcher into the trough. And ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. Lord have mercy. That's what you call a, a, a prayer answering God. Amen. A woman that's going to help me and not just sit around 
complaining with a breast friend got and what I ain't got. I can't be two places at the same time. Oh, we, y'all heard what Bobby said. What Bobby said? Huh? Mr. Bobby Womack. Mm hmm. Lord have mercy. But know what this woman, this, this girl, with her picture that she gave him some, she was getting water in it and taking it over to the trough. Pouring it for all, I don't know how many trips she made, but for 10 camels? Say there's 10 camels, and each camel only drunk 10 gallons of water. That's 100 gallons. I, I don't know. But this girl showed that she was faithful. Amen. I tell them guys, you're looking for the wrong thing. Amen. You like BBD. Amen. You 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 looking for a BB and a smile, huh? I'm gonna go on. I, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on. Cause y'all about to make me turn in the in the new edition up in here. BBD. You, you better start looking for godly stuff. You better start looking for godly stuff. That's all Rev saying. You better look at it from a godly perspective. Because this man was standing in prayer and God moved and answered his prayer. He was standing in prayer and, and, and his prayer was answered. Amen. She did that. I think we are at verse 21. I have to believe. Come on. 21. Read out loud. Everybody. Ready? Read. And the man wondering at her. He was wondering at her. Man, this, this is a good girl right here. He was wondering at her. He held his peace. He was thinking about it. I see you, Brother Bruce. Get tall, man. I see you, brother. It said, to wit, whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. He said, she meeting all the requirements that I'm looking for. That Isaac, she'll be a good wife for Isaac. Amen. Isn't it amazing sometimes how you could think that somebody might be good for somebody and then only to find out, amen, that they weren't looking for that type of goodness? <laughs> See, everybody don't look for the same type of goodness. Huh? <laughs> We're just talking in here. But then he said, I want to make sure, is, is this the one? Is this the one? Verse 22, we got to read this. We want to finish this story before we get out of here. Ready to read. And it came to pass as the camels had done drinking. The camels were done. She had made a last trip to the trough. She had filled a last pitcher of water. He just sit there and watched to do it. Now notice what it said. When she had done all of that, the man took a golden earring of a half she could weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels of weight of gold. In other words, amen, he went and got some, some jewelry and he was paying her. He was saying, good, you worked so hard, young lady. I'm going to give you some gold. Isn't it amazing when sometimes you're just doing your best out of the goodness of your heart? And somebody shake your hand and leave something in there uh, with some zeros behind it. It's got some numbers on it, but it's got one or two zeros behind it. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Huh? One. If it got one zero behind it, it's a 10 or 20 or 50. Huh? But if it's got two zeros behind it, it's a 100 or 500. Y'all don't hear me? Huh? Yeah, sometimes just out of the goodness of your heart, if you do that, how many know the Bible says your gift will make room for you? Yeah, stop trying to always charge people. Sometimes your blessing will come when you do it from your heart. Oh, good Lord of money. Yeah, sometimes when you just give your best, that's when you get your best pay. Huh? You shortchange yourself sometimes when you put a total on it. Well, how much I owe you? Well, shoot, I came and got you. And I don't know. I heard this, this guy one time start talking about that he, he didn't do nothing for a minimum, but he told the guy what his minimum was. And he said, I, that's what I'm going to give you. And he said, uh, uh, he said I was going to double that, give you twice as much. But since you told me that's what you wanted, that's what I gave you. Huh? 
See, sometimes your blessing comes <laughs> in another way. God bless you. Mr. Denise Bridges, I see you out there. How you doing? How you doing? Amen. Yeah. But this is a good story, isn't it? Now, notice what he said in verse 23. Here we go. Verse 23. Ready to read. Genesis 24, verse 23. And said, whose daughter are you? What's your daddy's name? Don't that sound like some old school people? <laughs> yeah, you better find out who they are. Nowadays, they don't care. So-and-so coming to pick me up. Oh, bye. Have a good time. Who coming to pick you up? Who? How old are they? Huh? They make good grades? Huh? Are they, they, are they on the beta club? They in the band? They coming to pick you up. Where they work at? Huh? If you don't ask no questions, it ain't nobody fault but yours. You better ask some questions. Girls coming up missing every day. You better ask some questions. Boys coming up missing every day. You better ask some questions. In verse 23, he said, who your father? Amen. Tell me. I pray thee. And then he said, is there any room in your father's house for us to lodge in? Your, your father got in. You treat me this way and, and you his daughter. So I know your parents know how to do give hospitality. Yeah, if, if the child know how to treat a stranger, good Lord Almighty. We don't go. Your daddy got room for us. You done gave us all this water. I know your daddy got some good food in that house. <laughs> your daddy got room for us. Amen. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Huh? Yeah. Verse 24, we got to get out of here. We just got a couple more verses. Ready to read. And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethel, the son of Melchi, which she bare unto Nahor. And again, the city was named after them. The city was named after them. Amen. Remember we read in verse 10? It says that they went to the city of Nahor. Flip back over there to verse 10. I'm trying to show you something. It said here uh, that they went to the city of Nahor. And then it said here, amen, that 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 that, that he she was in Nahor's family because he knew she was blessed. And she knew that the man was blessed because he gave her gold. Yeah. No, you can't buy love. No, you can't buy uh, love. No, 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 no. I see you, Mr. Dell. I see some young folk on here for the teenagers, college students, young adults. Amen. Look for you a godly mate. Look for you a godly mate. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It just might be the one. Now notice what it said here. It said, amen. And, and verse 25, we're about to go. It said, come on, come on. Miss Whitbird. Mr. Mika, come on. Ready to read. She said, moreover unto him, we have both strong and provender enough and room to lodge in. She said, not only for you, but 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 I got I got enough for your camels too. She said, we got enough to feed your camels. I we done gave him some water, but not only does my daddy have enough for 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 for, for you in the but in the guys that's with you, but my daddy, he'll feed your camels too. Good Lord Almighty. Yeah. And then verse 26. What happened to verse 26? Look what happened. And the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. Goodness, all this happened because he was standing and praying. Standing and praying. And, 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 and when she said all of that, he knew that's the one. You can't find no woman like that. That's why when you find one, amen, when you find a good friend, huh? when you find somebody that'll listen to you, and to put up with you? Huh? You ought to be thankful. You ought to be thankful. All right, Miss Wittenberg. I see you now. And I'm reported in. Oh, Lord. Good Lord Almighty. Now, the man bowed down his head in worship. Amen. And then that's what we have. 
So there is power. Thank y'all so much. That's a wonderful story that we shared today about standing and praying. Standing and praying. Amen. We're going to look at another story or two next week. But we wanted to share that today on this uh, day uh, prior to a historic day. Hopefully you'll be able to on your job tomorrow. Maybe if you're not working on your break or even on your lunch break, to see a part of history tomorrow. Amen. A part of history of this country. Amen. As the 46th president. Amen. It was being sworn in. Amen. With the vice president, Harris. And again, I want you to know, amen, that that prayer is a powerful thing. Prayer is powerful. And we need to pray for our country. Amen. America, amen, has always been great. Amen. There are great people in America. Amen. And we got to make sure, amen, that we, amen, let the love of God, the light of Christ, amen, and the concern for our fellow man and our country, amen, help us, amen, to move forward and not backwards. Amen. God bless you. Boy, I hope y'all had a good time. I did. Amen. Thank you so much for being a part of this special Tuesday Bible study. Amen. On uh, on Tuesday, this Wednesday Bible study on Tuesday. Again, so we want you to be a part of that history tomorrow. We want you to be a part of history. Amen. And then for those who missed last week's Bible study about kneeling in prayer, if you missed it, you know you you want to go and get that one. Go back to the website and and you look on last Wednesday and even the Wednesday before that on this new series of prayer. Last week was on kneeling and praying. This week is standing. Pray much for Miss Ann and, and Howard Huey. Amen. Brother Howard was on his way to the emergency room uh, just a little while ago. Amen. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Keep Miss Patricia Huey in your prayers. She is the wife of, of, of retired uh, Deputy uh, J.P. Uh, uh, Manning, Patricia Huey Manning. Amen. Keep her in your prayers. Remember uh, uh, the Bob Leach family. Amen. Services for Bob Leach it will be um, Thursday at 2 o'clock. Amen. Thursday at 2 o'clock. Amen. Here at Graveside at the Concord Baptist Church. Please remember, remember Miss Leach, the family. Amen. And his, his brothers and sisters. Amen. All of them in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we are definitely uh, praying for the Leach family. Remember uh, the Smith family, Brother Gilbert Smith Jr., this may be news to some of you, and I don't mean to shock you, but Mr. Gilbert Smith Jr., amen, went to glory on yesterday. Amen. He is the wife. He was the husband of Miss Dora Smith and their wonderful uh, two daughters and their families. Amen. Please remember Miss Valerie, Michelle, and Reggie, all of them in your prayers. Amen. Brother Gilbert Smith has gone on to be with the Lord. Gilbert Smith Jr., amen. God bless you. Please remember also, again, the uh, Mr. Thomas Wilkie family. Again, he went to glory on last week. He is the brother of Miss Bernice May McGill. Remember Miss Loretta Rowland? She had a successful surgery. She is in uh, Mary Black Hospital. Amen. Uh, recovering. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Holland McClooney, uh, thank you for joining us today. Amen. And all of you, we thank you so much. Amen. And there are others are going through. There's a lot of testing still going on. A lot of things all over town. And remember, I do believe tomorrow is the, the service of Miss Cornelia Willis. Service will be held 2 o'clock. Amen. Yeah, I think today, 2 o'clock today at Bethel. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. God bless you. Bow your head with us. As a matter of fact, amen, I'm going to stand and pray. I'm going to stand. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, amen, like the guy. Can y'all stand with me? We're going to stand and pray. Huh? Can you stand where you are? And we're going to pray. We, 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 I'm praying something great happened for you, just like it did, amen, for uh, Abraham's servant that was looking for a wife. Amen. And that's why sometimes you need to change your position up when you pray. Amen. So everybody stand it. Amen. Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather today. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for your power. Uh, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this story. Thank you, God, for standing in prayer, giving honor to you, giving respect to you, 
showing strength in our body, showing strength in our faith. Thank you for the unity. God, even though we in different places all around the world, God, with this Bible study, people are standing and praying. And I pray, oh God, that you will answer our prayers, our concern for our family healed. God, our concern for our young people. God, uh, uh, lead them not into temptation. Our concern for our leaders. Let them make good decisions. Our, de our concern for our churches. Let them preach the gospel. And God, I pray that you will help us continue to follow you as you are our God and we are your people. You are our shepherd. We are your sheep. We're going to follow you. Thank you. God bless everyone under the sound of my voice with everything they need. And if there's somebody under our voice, God, that's looking for a mate like Isaac or uh, looking for a mate, oh God, like Rebecca. And I believe she was looking for one because she kept herself pure, because she kept working. She didn't complain. And the Bible said when a man finds a wife, good Lord Almighty, he finds a good thing. Thank you for good things all around the world. Thank you for my good thing. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Huh? Come on. Y'all had a good time? Did y'all have a good time? All right. Tenfold. Arima Dutch. After a while, Crocodile. See you later, Alligator. Amen. I hope you have a good week. And don't forget, amen, the historic occasion on, uh, on tomorrow. Again, next week. Amen. I, I pray that uh, we will meet again on Wednesday, but we thank you for uh, your understanding and for uh, your prayers and for your c continued support. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, Aunt Mary down in Columbia. We love you all. God bless you. Amen. See you again at 10, my friend, this Sunday morning, Concord Baptist Church, live worship. Thank you so much. Until then, wear your mask and wash your hands. Amen. Thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful week.